everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome back to my NBA 2K18 My GM with the OKC Thunder. This is episode 36. So if you guys aren't caught up, look for the playlist in my channel. And here we are for this February 11th game against the Cavs. Um, I was actually supposed to make a video for against the Lakers. Uh, for whatever reason, we as I was trying to edit it, I had no commentary. So I didn't want to just put out an empty video. Um, but the last game I played against was the Nuggets. And we ended up going on this giant win streak here. And I think we're at a 17 game win streak. So we're going to be playing LeBron and the Cavs next. Um, but before we get started, if you're new, click that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. And if you like what you see by the end of the video, click the thumbs up button. Um, and leave any comments below. And um, as I mentioned in the previous video, um, there was a trade between Al Horford and... Um, Steven Adams and I asked you guys if you guys think I should do it um, one of the people on the, one of the viewers uh, GG Sports he actually recommended me not to trade um, Steven Adams um, let's see let me read the quote exactly he says I will keep Adams in my opinion just because he's a better rebounder defender than Horford I feel like your offense would get better but when Russ and PG are dropping those numbers do you really need help on offense? That makes sense. So guess what? I'm not going to trade for Al Horford. Um, but I will try um, to trade for somebody else here. Because another viewer, he's been watching my stuff for a while now. Um, but again, before I mention that, again, this is GG Sports. I will put the comment on the screen if I haven't already. Um, but the next suggestion I got was to try to trade for Devin Booker or Klay Thompson or trade for a good point guard or power forward. Um, that's gonna be tough because Trevor Booker is is, is the guy for the Suns. Um, so trading him would, uh, it's gonna be a bit difficult. Um, so he's making three mil a year, but he's rated at 87. So I'll have to trade somebody or somebody's uh, to get him. And I mean, I could try to trade Jordan Clarkson and let's see. Um, I don't even know, really. <clears throat> and maybe McCaw for, for, uh, for Booker. Probably not going to happen. Uh, post trade. Let's try this out. So we're going to do Clarkson. He's making too much money though, man. And Kilpatrick for Devin Booker. It's gonna be way too hard to pull that off. Um Suns. Suns, Suns, Suns. And valid trade. This trade would put the Thunder under the minimum player limit. The team cannot do this trade using a minimal player limit exception the last two weeks. Okay. Um, let's see if I could eat somebody's contract here. Uh, Th Thad Young. Damn it. TJ Warren. All right, whose contract can I eat up here? Greg Monroe, TJ Warren. Eric Bledsoe. Eh, eh, eh. Uh, so Bledsoe makes too much money, and let's see, Tyson Chandler, okay, so now it's all a matter if they want to take this contract, and if they want to take this trade, so I would trade a point guard and a shooting guard for Tyson Chandler and Devin Booker. Um, both these people are coming from the bench, so that's gonna be very tough for me. Um, maybe I'll take out Kilpatrick uh, Clarkson and add somebody else, hold on. Uh, that's to be a big contract, okay. Um, 
So I need to somehow make up all that room. So this is six mil. And then let's eat up another player's contract here. Uh, ah, Siakam, nope. Uh, Tyler Ulis. You're asking me to give away a valuable asset like Devin Booker when none of the assets I get seem to actually be valuable. Okay. Um, hmm. So what if I do put... Um, oops, shit. What if I put Jordan Clarkson there? And I put in... Tyson Chandler. It says valid. And I'm going to add a pick, another pick. Uh, Alright, so basically, he's untouchable. I'd have to trade somebody big to get him. Like, uh, maybe Steven Adams or whatever, but he's too valuable for me. Um, so I can't pull that trade off. Um, let's see, if I could pull off another trade maybe with the Warriors, we're going to see if I can get Clay Thompson. No offers, no offers. Can't pull anything off. That's a big contract I'm getting. I can't, I can't get Clay Thompson. Can't get him. Um, Rivadada, I'm so sorry. I can't pull that trade off, bro. Um, but next game we'll be playing is going to be against the Cavs. This is a rematch of the NBA Finals from the previous year. And that is my rights cooker going off. But we, the Cavs are 30 and 21. We are 38 and 15. We're going to ride this winning streak. Let's see if we can stop. Let's see who they got here. They got Isaiah Thomas, CD Osman, uh, LeBron James, Kevin Love, and Tristan Thompson. I'll see you guys in Cleveland. All right, so we're starting this game in, in Cleveland. See if Russell can just get past uh, Isaiah Thomas. Because he's too small. That's a block, though. Four doors wide open. Four three to start the game. Westbrook with it. What a tremendous game he played against New York. Oklahoma City. Look at the ball movement. Beautiful. Another three. Isaiah giving him a lot of room. He's gonna pull up. He's gonna make it. That is ten points for Russell Westbrook. As Isaiah Thomas gave him all the room in the world to shoot that three. That's already a 13 to 4 lead for the Thunder. Paul George Green. It has been the Paul George and Russell Westbrook show here early in the game. Open three. He'll hit that. That rolls in. That is seven straight points for Jordan Clarkson here in the first. Oh, that's a block by Jeremy Grant as they move the ball. Here comes Clarkson. Open three. Got it. What a sequence for the Thunder. That's some good defense. There you go, Russell with the poster. Oh, Duncan on number eight. I guess his name is Levingston or is that Osman? I'm not even sure. But that is just another poster for Russell Westbrook. Steven Adams collecting the garbage. Paul George open for three. Got it. There it is, his first make from beyond the arc. Paul the George continues to be a big factor here in the game against Cleveland. Coming off just a terrific pick play. Greg, you're right, it really did work to perfection. Gave him all Paul George open again. Got it, another three. That is 18 points like for Paul George. That is a wonderful look for like Steven Adams. 59 seconds left in the first half. Oh, here comes Russell for a poster on Kevin Love. Russell Westbrook bringing the boom here in Cleveland. And the basketball knowledge of the fans just walking around is New York City. Look at that move by Paul George. All around the city of New York. And then Crossing up LeBron and then dunking it by Kevin Love. And again, unable to change momentum here. To take the lead and James with the best. Wow, LeBron with the layup to give him the lead. That's incredible. Tremendous composure on display. When they were down big, they did not panic. They just stuck with the game. Left side Adams. 
Good pass. And one. That is Tristan Thompson's fifth foul. Good look by Brogdon for the two. Oh my god. That is an and one by LeBron James. As he might put them up by four. And he does. James outside. To the paint. It's stolen by Adams. Here comes Paul George. You're going to take to LeBron. Foul. Ah. That is LeBron's fourth foul, and he is having a temper tantrum. That should be a T. He came to swipe in. What are, what are you expecting? You see the excellent skill set. And this is when you want to As an end one for Russell Westbrook. That is Kevin Love's fourth foul in the game. And he has a chance to put him up by one with about two minutes left in the fourth quarter. Foul. And one. That is a foul by Tristan Thompson, and he is fouled out. Russell Westbrook going for his 40th point here in the game. Split defenders, Tristan Thompson came to help. Russell Westbrook able to use his strength to put it up. Good pass by Russell to Steven Adams for the slam. Good look by Russell, Russell Westbrook for Steven Adams. The defense looks done right now. No hustle or real desire to get stopped. No good from LeBron. The rim's out. Here we go. Paul George going to take it to LeBron. For the layup. LeBron didn't want to draw the foul. So now the Thunder are up by four. Russell with a slam. He is unstoppable. This game. And he has now 42 points. With under a minute left here in the fourth. All right, so that's the ball game. We ended up winning by seven. What a game towards the end. It was just a LeBron and Isaiah Thomas versus Russell Westbrook and Paul George. But clearly, the Thunder are just too much of heavyweights in the NBA for them to lose. This is going to be 18 in a row. That's amazing. That's freaking amazing. You don't see winning streaks like that unless you're the Warriors. But uh, let's take a look at the box score here. LeBron James dropping almost a triple double. 38 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists. <clears throat> Trying to burp. There you go. Uh, 25 points for Isaiah Thomas. Let's take a look at the Thunder here. Russell Westbrook with 46 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, 1 steal. Paul George with 31 points, 6 rebounds. Clarkson with 14 points off the bench. And yeah, Steven Adams with a, a double double game. Five steals as well as three assists, two blocks. What a stat line for him, actually. Uh, Brogdon's a little coaching, one for six, but him two free throws as well. And let's take a look at the team comparison here. The Cavaliers shooting a little bit better. They shot more threes, but it was just the free throws. Our aggressiveness towards the basket is what changed things in the game. There's a lot of and ones, a lot of free throws hit. And uh, rebounding was definitely a big point. Um, second chance points. Uh, what else is here? Um, that probably is it. Um, so let's go back to the home screen again. You are my co-GM. Give me suggestions of what you want to see. Unfortunately, I was unable to do River Dada's uh, uh, suggestion of trying to get Trevor Booker. Um, I'm not going to trade for Al Horford, according to GG Sports. Um, we're going to talk about him in a little bit. Um, what can I do here? Let's do recovery facility. And the next game, probably right before the All-Star break, I'll play the Suns. Why not? But we're going to simulate this game against the Magic first. So, date game. Patrick pass for Kyle Anderson. A second round pick. Interesting. Um, this would actually open open things up for Larry Sanders and um, Zubac, but then I'll become a little short on the bench. Um, Kyle Anderson is a small forward. I don't think I can take that trade. Sorry, buddy. Um, Julius Randle. 
for Al and Al Jefferson for Steven Adams and Theus. Are you crazy? No. Absolutely not. We end up winning one by one against the Magic. Russell Westbrook with 22 points. Russell Westbrook with another near triple double. 15 points, 11 rebounds, 8 assists. Curious, I'm going to leave this game against the Kings. Hopefully, we win this game. And we. And we win by 30. Wow. Uh, Paul George at 24 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists. Russell Westbrook flirting with a triple double again. 23 points, 14 rebounds, 8 assists, 3 steals. Steven Adams with 11 rebounds, 13 points. Brogdon with 12 points. And we're going to simulate this game against Utah. Utah, come on. And we win by double digits. We are just playing filthy ball right now. Uh, Paul George at 21 points, 5 rebounds, 2 steals, and 1 block. Russell Westbrook, 18 points, 10 rebounds, 7 assists, 4 steals. Steven Adams with a 12-9 game. And then Jeremy Grant coming out with 10 points. And we are going to be getting ready for this game against the Suns. And we are just unstoppable right now. Um, this is the last game for the All-Star break. Um... Let's see, let's see. And I think, let's see what we can, let's see the standings here by conference. We are up by a game and a half over the Warriors. The Warriors lost four in a row and we won 21 straight. Of course we're gonna get into the lead, man. But that's amazing how well we're doing this season. Even with my simulations, even with um, letting the computer run the, run the games. That's freaking amazing. Okay. So now that the gameplay footage is over again, you guys are my co-GM. I said this like a three, four times. Um, just like how River Dada did it, just like how GG Sports did it. Um, yeah, just basically tell me what you want to see. Tell me what I should and shouldn't do. Should I keep the team the way they are? Should I trade somebody else? That way someone from the bench can get a starting spot. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Click the thumbs up button, leave any comments below. Hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace. Oh, wait, before I uh, sign things off, GG Sports, I forgot to talk about him. He actually has this post Boogie Cousins uh, season for NBA 2K18. He has the NBA 2K, or rather the TNT presentation for, uh, for NBA 2K18. Looks amazing. The upgraded uh, facial scans. I'm assuming he's using the PC version, uh, but it just looks awesome. It looks downright awesome. You should guys definitely check it out. Again, it's GG Sports on YouTube. And all right, that's it. All right, guys, take it easy and peace.